Hey guys, on this episode of Elhova Shop Shop, I turned $30 into my dream car. Alright, so this episode has been a long time coming. Uh, as some of you know, I've been doing the $30 challenge or 30k challenge. So my plan was to start with $30, buy and sell car parts until I got to 30 grand, which was the idea of that was to get a Model A. So if I can get a Model A for cheaper than that, that was the plan. So this episode, I did it. I got a Model A. Let's go pick it up. Alright, so some of you may be confused as to what a Model A is. Uh, it is a really old Ford, so they made them from 1928 to 1931 depending on what model you want, what series you want. So I have tracked down a 1928, which is the first year. They're a little bit different, I'll talk about that later. And then I've also managed to get myself a Tudor, which is the exact model I wanted, which is pretty much a wagon, but back in the day they called them a sedan. So it's a two-door wagon shaped with a back seat. So super cool. Um, it's 92 years old, so don't expect the world. It's, uh, it's a bit rough, but for its age, it's doing quite well. Um, I'm just really hoping that it's not completely full of rust under the paint. So it's been resprayed about 30 years ago. Um, the guy doesn't know when, but it came from Western Australia, and it's been here for about a year. The guy's cleaned it up a bit, and he just bought it to flip it, which I'm not going to get mad at him for that, because I do the same thing. So hopefully, the rust isn't too bad. Obviously I can't take the interior out to have a look before I buy it, so, so I've bought it and let's just hope it's not completely rusty. So we'll soon find out. Alright, so we just had some sushi train, got the Model A, let's get this rig home and have a better look at it. But here she is, 1928 Model A Ford. I'm in danger. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the um I think that was probably reverse. That's what I was trying to go into. The steering so weird. Got an Armstrong box in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something like that. Alright. Pretty cool sand.
Hey guys, Jeff from Home Page Top Shop here. Just interrupting this week's video to let you know that I've started a Patreon account. So if you'd like to support the channel, head over to patreon.com forward slash El Jove Shop Shop and you'll see three different levels of membership. There's $4 a month, $8 a month and $12 a month. So if you don't want to sign up, don't sign up. If you do, that'd be great. Um, pick whatever level you want. I'm not going to hold it against you. It'd be just great to have your support. So on Patreon, you'll find limited edition stickers. I'll hopefully be doing merch soon. There's some secret squirrel business going on there. You'll be able to talk to me directly. You'll be able to ask me questions that I'll put on my TikTok videos. You'll be able to get your name in the titles or the credits of the YouTube videos. And there'll be heaps more later. So check it out at patreon.com forward slash shop shop. Let's get back to the video. All right, so we finally got the Model A home. It was only about an hour in the car uh, on the trailer, so it's not too bad. It weighs bugger all, so the Hilux didn't struggle at all. It was worked out pretty well. So this is a 1928 Ford Tudor which means two-door sedan, or wagon as I like to call it because it's wagon shaped. Um, it has 21 inch wheels, which are probably about two inches wide, or four inches or something like that. It has a cool little uh, luggage rack on the back. And not a whole lot of features. So it is a 92 year old car, so there is a bit of rust in it. And it was painted, uh, we think, in the late 80s. So a lot of this rust is a bit scary. So if this is really bad, I'm going to have to put it back together and try and sell it again. Uh, if it's fixable, I will fix it. And when I say fixable, I mean within my qualifications or uh, talents. So I've taken the spare wheel off of this side. It is a six wheel, which is a special feature. So you have a spare wheel on either side and then the four underneath it, obviously. Um, so I've taken this one off because you can't actually open the driver's door all the way. Um, and that's a little bit rusty in there, but I don't want those later on anyway. So this is a Australian delivered car. Uh, they send the chassis and the engine and everything from Canada, and then it's imported into Australia, and then they build the bodies and put the bodies on them here. So it's a weird little thing. It's pretty small on the inside. Um, Dale and I were sitting in it before and pretty much rubbing shoulders, so it's a very small car. Um, the pedals are a bit strange. The middle pedal is the accelerator, and you can control it with your hand. And then you've got clutch and brake. And then there's a shifter with reverse as forwards. And then you've got first, and then second is over here, and fourth is back here. And then the other lever there is the handbrake. And this is the choke. This lever over here is for advancing and retarding the timing. This is the original indicator and the horn. And then this is an aftermarket indicator if you've been added on. There's not a lot to it. You've got your windscreen wiper up there with switch and there's only one wiper on it so you can only clean the driver's view, you can't clean the passenger's view. And the whole front window does tip out, uh, so it's like a safari window, but it's pretty stiff because it's been sitting for a while. Another cool feature is these door handles that actually lift up to get out. Window winders obviously, door locks which uh, probably wouldn't be very safe these days. And if you look through here at the other window, you can see the window winder. So these windows actually go down, these back windows. They're quite stiff as well, but they do go down, which is pretty cool. The back seat's quite comfortable and quite big. And there's plenty of legroom. And you can also fold the seat forwards and up. There's plenty of room if you really want it. So the wheels are big spoky things. So I think the offset is uh, five by five and a half inches, which is a bit of a strange one. Um, five by one fourteen point three is actually four and a half inches. So these are a little bit bigger than those. It's got a pretty strange looking diff in it, and a I think it's a torque tube. I'm not 100 percent sure. And if we go to the roof, which is a little bit. Areas. It's got a, a vinyl roof on it, which is pretty cool, but it's actually not got any metal under it. So the metal stops right about here. So you can see that line on the camera. I can't actually see that in person, but that line is where the metal stops on both sides. And it stops here as well. So all of that's all vinyl. So there's not a lot of structure in it, not a lot of strength in it. <laughs> got both of the original Ford plaques which is pretty cool and that's where the spare wheel would go on the other side as well so 
little uh, sun cap, granny visor, whatever you call it. This is the original horn. The cap's missing off the back, it's in the car. Um, he's lost the screw, so it's a bit wobbly. So you can see they've had to add indicators at some point in its life and tail lights and stuff, obviously. It's got the little Ford Quail, I think it's supposed to be. Pretty cool. And then if we open the engine bay, which is as easy as uh, that, and lift this guy up. Got the little four cylinder, uh, it's called a banger motor. Not sure what literage I think, they're about two and a half to three litre uh, literage. But it's a flathead, four cylinder. And the heaviest steering known to man. Got the fuel cap and the fuel tank above the driver's feet, which is a uh, fantastic idea, I think. This is gravity fed from the tank to the carby. And then it goes up. So it's a uh, updraft or a downdraft. Uh, updraft instead of a downdraft carby. And you got the coil and the spark plug wires are a little piece of actual metal. It's a pretty strange little thing. So that's my 1928 Ford Tudor. So change of speed. This is a Sora. Uh, a friend of mine bought it. He lives in Sydney. The car was in SA. He wanted me to go look at it. So when I looked at it, he decided he wanted to buy it. So I've just stored it here for a week um, and it's going in two days. So just so you know, not my car. You won't be seeing any more of it on the channel, but it's in the background of some of these shots. So as for my plans for this thing, I'd like to keep it original for now. Um, I'm just going to fix some of the rust because as you can see, there's bog through here and the join and stuff. So I'd like to probably fix here up and put, I've got a vinyl rag top for it already. I bought it, um, not sure when, but there's the Black Friday sales in America. They had those for about $1,600 instead of three and a half thousand. So grabbed one of those ages ago. Um, so I'll paint here up and fix everything and then put my rag top in and then fix the rust in the doors, which are quite bad. This one's the worst one. You can see it's behind that tire there. And fix all the little bits of rust here and there. Fix this here, get the uh, bonnet all sandblasted or acid dipped or something and just slowly fix it up. And then down the road, uh, I'd like to put a different chassis under it and make it lower and cooler and louder and hot roddy. But for now, try and keep it uh, original and drive it. Enjoy it a bit. I drove it around the block and it is terrifying. Um, it's super slow, but that's not really an issue, obviously. Um, it's got rod brakes, so I keep saying cable brakes. They're actually rods, so instead of having hydraulic fluid, it has a piece of metal that pushes on stuff. So it's kind of like a handbrake all round. Um, if the rods aren't connected or uh, adjusted correctly, then you don't have brakes. So a little bit scary. It takes a bit to start it as well, so you've got to like set the timing and set the choke in the right spot and then fire it up, let it warm up and then advance the timing as you go. So I'd like to drive it to work at least a couple of times and drive it around, drive it to Bunnings or whatever. Go do little short trips in it. It's a pretty weird little thing. So I'm just gonna get it registered. Uh, it does have SA Rego, which makes my life so much easier, but it was Club Rego, so I can't really transfer that. So I'll have to get it registered again in my name shortly. But pretty cool little thing. It's actually quite tall at the moment because there's so much room under the running boards to the ground. My head is about this high. I'm not very tall. This has been such a long time coming, it's so weird to see it in my driveway. I just think I turned $30 into this, swapped and sold my way to the car of, the car of my dreams, I guess. Um, it is a dream car of mine, not as it sits, but when it's all hot rodded and done. But I wanted to start with something that hadn't been touched and hadn't been messed with because I wanted to do it all myself and do it the way I want to do it and the, the way that I would like everything to be assembled. So, pretty crazy really. Kind of blown my own mind a little bit. Super happy with it. Alright, so that's it for this episode. You'll be seeing heaps more of this Model A on this channel. 
Um, this is going to be sticking around for a long time, I hope. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and see you next week.